So I think lithium, lithium ion, if, if folks kind of think back to the history of this type of battery, it dates back to when you had laptop computers emerging on the scene in the early 90s. So a lithium ion battery was designed for a laptop or maybe a cell phone in mind, not for grid scale storage, not for electric vehicles that have the duty cycles that uh, far surpass that of a, a, a laptop computer. So if you think about the cost, too expensive, lifetime, your cell phone battery probably starts to weaken after about a, a year or so of usage. And then safety, the number of stories that we have about lithium ion batteries blowing up in planes and so forth uh, kind of arise from that. So if you think about <clears throat> developing a battery technology from the ground up to revolutionize that with the grid storage application in mind, with an electric vehicle in mind, chances are the ultimate answer is that lithium ion is not going to be the long-term solution for that. So I think for right now, over the next five to 10 years, maybe shorter period of time, lithium will continue to be the, the, key, the key chemistry of choice. But as a number of the different companies that in some cases we invested in it while I was at Coastal Ventures or other great firms are, are, are taking bets on, the DOE uh, is taking bets on, there will be a newer generation of non-lithium technologies that will emerge over the next period of time that I think will be very gee whiz because they promise lower cost batteries, safer batteries, batteries that might last five to 10 years without degradation or longer than that uh, and so forth. I think that'll be a very exciting uh, development for the industry.